Um, so I have two young sons, all right, and uh, they show a, a bit of an aptitude for art, for science. Um, in your opinion, as father, and uh, how do you nourish that? Um, get out of their way. <laughs> That's seriously. It's with kids. You know, they will go through different passions, and you will support those. But like as a parent, I considered it really important in my job, as my parents did for me, to support those passions. And it means that a lot of them are going to be dead ends. You know, everyone's got a cobweb drum kit in the corner of their. <laughs> Rec room, and we did too. Um, but there's more to it than just like, well, are you going to stick with this? Because I'm also demonstrating that I think it's important when I say, oh, you want to get into this thing? Let's get you the equipment for, for doing that. Oh, do you want to learn this? Yeah, let's get you some classes. Like, I'm telling them that their interest has a value to me that's beyond just, oh, that's cool. And I'm spending into that value. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm investing in it. Um, ultimately, it doesn't matter what they end up doing. I mean, both my kids are really different creatively than I am and really different creatively than each other. And you do all this worrying when they're younger because everything they do that's good, you're like, as Robin Williams points out, you can see them winning the Nobel Prize or saying, do you want fries with that? <laughs> both are fine. Um, ultimately, in the end, it, it turns out both my kids are kind, and that's the only thing that matters. Very true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.